name is William Sanema. I'm in grade 6, Knowlton Academy in Knowlton, Quebec. Uh, today I am going to talk to you about organic and non-organic foods. This is for my science project. I know it's not really a science project, but that's why I decided to do it. Anyway, my mom is always telling me that I should eat organic foods because non-organic foods has all the pesticides and all that to make it look better and grow. But it's not always true what they say about it. These are the non-organics. These are the organics. If they always say that the non-organics are bigger. That's not true. This is the non-organic banana. Non-organic. The organic is much bigger in size. The non-organic is smaller. But it's not always the same way. This is the organic. This is non-organic. The bigger in size or non-organic. Smaller in size or the tomato. The peppers, I, the non-organic is bigger, also heavier. The organic, smaller, but about the same size, as you can see, but lighter. The avocado is basically the same thing. Non-organic, bigger, and way smaller. The smaller one, the or organic one, smaller, and in ways less. Now I'm going to show you the price difference. The non-organic foods cost less because they obviously have pesticides so bugs don't get them. And they have hormones and all that so they grow bigger. And they can make more of them so they put it at a decent price. That's what I think. Anyway, this banana, these bunch of bananas cost 79 cents a pound. These bunch of bananas cost one twenty nine a pound. For me, that's a difference because, well, I just think it's a big difference in money. I'm going to test how the taste difference between the non-organic pepper and tomato and the organic pepper and tomato. I'm not going to taste the other fruit today because they're not ready. So my mom has just cut them and now I'm going to taste them. I pretty much think it's going to taste better because there's no pesticides or anything in the organic to make it taste wrong. Mm. Alright. The organic one is like crunchy and has a booming flavor. Now I'm going to taste the non-organic. This one has like a little bit it's like so you did you didn't even clean this. <laughs> you didn't even put soap on these. And it tastes like cleaning product. It's dull and soft. Out. I don't like it. I know. Now to the tomato. I think it's gonna be juicy. It's pretty juicy. It has like a sweet flavor, but it's soft. Now onto non-organic. Okay, that tastes dull. It doesn't taste good. It's a little bit sour and too soft. I recommend so far the organic. Even though some of you out there won't taste the difference, I can really taste the difference. Mm. Saturday today, we had to wait till this morning because the organic fruit didn't look like they were ripe, but apparently they are. And my mom's going to cut them up and, to, and then we're going to taste them. Because yeah, the avocado doesn't look as nice as the one we had on Monday, which was the on our yet. So I'm just going to taste the organic banana right now. It's sweet, uh, it's kind of like soft crunchy, there's water in just a little crunchy, and this one is a little harder, but a more sweet, and the uh, now the color, it tastes better than the last one did. And I'm going to try the avocado because William really doesn't like avocado. That tastes better than the last one. 
looked a lot creamier. And strangely enough, um, it, you can feel that it's, it's buttery and a little bit watery on the back on the back side of it. Organic food is food that has been grown or processed without synthetic pesticides, chemical fertilizers, irradiation, oh, I mean irradiation, industrial solvents, or chemical food additives. Three studies in 2011 showed that pregnant women exposed to higher amounts of organophosphates, pesticides, which are used in conventional farming, ended up having children with lower IQs than those of their peers. Did you have that with my brother? <coughs> in one study, 10 pesticides were found on conventional spinach and 9 were found on celery. Bell peppers have the most with the 39 overall pesticides. This is a little booklet that is going to be shown on my poster. It's a dirty dozen plus that you should buy organic goods. Because of the avocado's hard shell, the pesticides don't get through and also the pests. So there's really no need, and it protects it from pesticides and all that. It's this is one of the reasons it's in the clean 15. In conclusion, I think that the organic is better because it doesn't have all the pesticides and that that can make you sick on long term, and it's bad for the planet. In nutritional value, they're pretty much the same. But my taste te testers have found that the organic has tastes better. It might be coincidental. I recommend that you go to your local food store, buy, whenever possible, organic foods, and if you have time this summer, make your own garden. It's fun, it's easy, it's delicious. This is what I recommend, and thank you for listening.